good morning mergers and acquisitions presented by dr g swarnalata dr or sns orcas key concepts and skills be able to define the various terms and associated with m and a activity understand the various reasons for mergers and whether or not those reasons are in the best interest of shareholders understand the various methods for paying and acquisition understand the various defensive activities chapter outline the legal forms of acquisitions taxes and acquisitions accounting for acquisitions gains from acquisition some some financial side effects of acquisition cost of an acquisition defensive tactics some evidence on acquisitions diversion and restructurings the legal forms of acquisition there are three basic legal procedures that one firm can use to acquire one another merger or consolidation acquisition of stock acquisition of assets merger versus consolidation merger one firm is acquired by another acquiring firm retains a name and acquired from ceases to exist advantage legally simple disadvantage must be approved by stockholders of both firms consolidation entirely new firm is created from combination of existing firms acquisitions a firm can be acquired by another firm or individual purchasing voting shares of the firm's stock tender offer public offer to buy shares stock acquisition no stockholder vote required can deal directly with the stockholders even if management is unfriendly may be delayed if some target shareholders hold out for more money complete absorption requires a merger classifications horizontal both firms are in the same industry vertical firms are in different stages of the production process conglomerate firms are unrelated varieties of takeovers takeovers takeover is divided into uh, acquisition proxy contest going private uh, that it is called as a lbo acquisition is divided into merger acquisition of stock acquisition of assets taxes and acquisitions if it is a taxable acquisition selling shareholders need to figure their cost basis and pay taxes on their capital gains if it is accounting for acquisition the purchase method the source of much goodwill pooling of interest pooling of interest is generally used when the acquiring firm issues voting stock in exchange for at least 90% of the outstanding voting stock of the acquired firm purchase accounting is generally used under other financing arrangements gains from acquisitions most acquisition fail to create value for the acquirer the main reason why they do not lies in failures to integrate two companies after a merger intellectual capital often walks out the door when acquisition are in handled carefully traditionally acquisitions deliver value when they allow for scale economies or market power better products and services in the market are learning from the new firms synergy suppose firm a is contemplating contemplating acquiring firm b the synergy from the acquisition is synergy is equal to vab minus va plus vb the synergy of an acquisition can be determined from the standard discounted cash flow model synergy is equal to sigma square root of 6 sorry c f t divided by 1 plus r the whole square t sources of synergy revenue enhancement cost reduction cost reduction is divided into replacement of ineffective managers economies of scale or scope tax gains tax gains is again divided into net operating losses and unused debt capacity incremental net investment required in working capital and fixed assets calculating value avoiding mistakes do not ignore market values estimate only incremental cash flows use the correct discount rate don't forget transaction cost some financial side effects earnings growth 
if there are no synergies or other benefit to the merger then the growth of eps is just an artifact of a larger firms and is not true growth thank you